Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video of just a mini haul. Um, most of the stuff I got when I was, well maybe half. Half the stuff I got when I went to Miami um, last week with Inky and other stuff I kind of got this past week. Um, it's listening to be kind of like clothes and beauty stuff. I really don't do hauls that much. I don't know why, but if you guys like hauls or like you know, someone want to see some of the stuff that I do pick up, you know, here and there. Thumbs up and let me know. I love watching haul videos. It gives me ideas on what to buy. So if you do like them for me, let me know and I'll try to do more haul videos. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I got in Miami. And also I'm filming right in front of my window in my makeup room. So the sun is going to go in and out because it's been raining all day and it's very cloudy. So my video will be like bright and then dark all throughout but I like filming in front of my window because I have no other lights so yeah anyways okay so let me just get into the clothes first so Inky and I went to this boutique in Miami we were in South Beach and it was um this person owned it his name is Dion they owned the, the he owned the store and then he also owned some of um Inglot's inventory so he had like an Inglot section and then he had like a clothes store and some of the pieces he designs. Um, so um, one of the things that I got from his store is this bodysuit. And like these bodysuits are like coming back. Like I see so many cute bodysuits like on Instagram. And also um, Carly Bible. She has like some of the best outfits. Like to my kind of taste and style. And she just rocks that bodysuit like no other. So I was like, I maybe I should like try to get some cute bodysuits for spring and summer. So I saw this bodysuit at um, this little bo the boutique in Miami. And it's this black lace bodysuit, see-through, all lace. And it has like a nice structure of shoulder um, padding right here. And then that's the bodysuit in the back. So it goes high enough in the back so that... Um, like it's cut high so you don't get any lines if you wear like a nice tight fitted pants and stuff like that so I love like when I saw this at the store I was like okay this is cute you know let me try this I've seen you know this look people have been rocking so I said let me try it so I grabbed it put it on and I was like oh we gonna get this it looks so good so I was like I have to have this like I was clutching onto this piece of fabric at the store I was like if this is the only thing I take from this store so I got it and I am in love with it and um I have a clip on me styling it with some nice um I guess call them palazzo pants they're like a little high-waisted black palazzo pants nice dress up piece to go to like dinner date you know going out to like a lounge you know on like on a weekend so I love this piece so much and I think I got this for um I think it was like 60 no 50 dollars because that boutique some of the stuff <coughs> so his boutique he has a lot of cute pieces a very overpriced for non-designer pieces in my opinion um kind of stuff in there was so expensive I was like why like why where there was like a blazer that Inky tried on it was like $700 and I was just like I can't find this blazer at Macy's with my Macy's card and a coupon for like 40 bucks. <laughs> so um, I found this, I asked the price, he said it was like originally like $150 and um, I, he's, no it was $150 and he said oh, I can give it to you for 60 and I was just like I ain't paying, like this doesn't even have a label, like <laughs> you know what I mean, like I'm not paying $60 for this. So then I said, let me, can you just give it, give it to me for 50? Because I did really like it. So he said, okay, fine. So I got it for $50. It's not worth $50, in my opinion, because like, I don't know, like it's made very well. Very, very, very well made. Nice quality, but $50, I don't know about that. But I just said, let me just close my eyes and get it. We on vacation. All right, so for the Inglot section of the boutique, I, um, they had, um, a lot of, um, pots for, like, blushes, lips, and, uh, um, eyeshadow. So Inky and I made our own palette. So they had, like, empty palettes and you can put the stuff in to make a palette. Mm. So I did a blush 
and three shadows and I really love the colors like even the colors all together you can do a whole look with you know this color scheme right here it looks very Valentine's -y right here so I love this palette and it was pretty like I like how Inglot is in it it's good pigmented quality products not too expensive like the blush was like eleven dollars oh it's like magnetic opening the blush is eleven dollars and each pot is seven and then you buy this thing for eleven dollars I think so I think I paid um, all together like 40 something dollars for this cute palette very nicely built palette perfect coloring nicely pigmented well worth the price so next we hit up Sawgrass Mills Mall I believe that's what it's called and we went to BB and that mall whoo I'm glad like our hotel provided us a bus to go there because it's pretty far from our hotel and I'm glad that we had that bus because it gave us a time frame because if we didn't have a time frame we would have been there till today they had so much good stuff so we went to bb first like we were there for four hours and we only hit up two stores <laughs> that's how bad it was <laughs> so we went to bb first and i got this um jumpsuit cat suit lavender purple thing oh when i saw it so it was like spring 2016 come through like i love this and it has gold is it gold oh is it gold or is it maybe it could be like a pewter kind of like it's it's kind of goldish but it's kind of silver it's gold it's gold gold detailing with like the zippers and the buttons and stuff and i have a clip of me putting it on oh i love this thing it's so cute so it was um on clearance for 74.99 and they were having a 50 percent off sale so i got it for 35 $37 yeah $37 so it was a good buy and then I saw this army green khaki green shirt it's like a sh it's a shirt it's a long shirt because it has slits in it so um, gold detailing and I have a clip of me trying it on with some nice tight black leggings I loved this like, I, like when I put it on I, I found some black leggings in the store and I put it on together I was like yes I'm getting it so this was so cute and it was on clearance for $64.99 and it was half off so I got it for like $32 beautiful then we hit up Kate Spade for a hot minute because I never had a Kate Spade item and when I went to the store, I was like, oh, you know what? Let me get a Kate Spade bag. Because I, I, used, I used to have a black um, dinner bag, dinner going out bag, like a small bag like this for like nighttime from BB and it broke. I was like, I think I went out with Kosi and I don't know what happened, but I, I had the bag on and then all of a sudden the bag was like on the ground, but the strap was still on my shoulder. <laughs> I was like what is going on so that bag broke so I said let me get a new one so I've been searching for a new one so I found this one at Kate Spade and it's beautiful I love it, it has like a patent leather um, look that's the material and um, gold detailing and it was $139 that's how much I, I paid for it so it was a good buy it was a good buy I love it I love it so much. It's so cute. I love it. I love. It. So that's that. All right. So that's enough for clothes and bag. Next, I have makeup and beauty stuff. So um, Inky um, let me borrow um, her, her edge control, and this is Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. And this stuff was good. It's nice and thick, and it holds down your edges very well. Like I was using this in Miami, and was warm there so it held down my edges really well and I got this from Target and it was like nine dollars I think eight or nine dollars and I was like that's how much this is but it's 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 good stuff so I never I think oh yeah, I used to have one edge control I lost it but this stuff is good stuff and I used it today too so that's that next I have my handy dandy holy grail studio fix mac um, powder foundation I wear this every day anytime you see me with makeup on I have this powder on 
um, I wear it by itself and also if I want to do like a made up look like my look today where I wear foundation that I wear foundation and set it with this powder mm, I love this powder so yeah next I have oh next we went to Ricky so there's a Ricky's uh, beauty supply store in New York City Inky and I have been there before and I think I even vlogged it maybe um, but when we went to Miami, they had the same Ricky's store. It's called Ricky's NYC, and they had it in Miami. And I was like, yes. So we went in there, and I got a couple things. So first, I picked up the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. I've never tried the Ben Nye Luxury Powder, and I got it in um, Dolce, number 30. I didn't want to get it too light because... I kind of wanted to have because I do have other kind of setting powders that are light for like a highlight but this one I don't always highlight when I do under eye stuff so this is a good powder that matches my skin tone enough that's not too bright bright and then I got the LA girl pro setting HD um, matte finish setting spray I always use my urban decay setting spray but I wanted to try other things so I said let me try this one and it's been working really well and I love how the spray comes out nice and even. I have the MAC Studio Fix, no, the MAC Setting Spray. And sometimes it doesn't spray so even, like the mist isn't even. But this, I like the way it sprays. And then I got the LA Girl Lip Paint Glazed, and this is in Blushing. And I think I wore this in my video that I did when I styled my crochet braids. Yeah, that's the color I wore in that video. And then I got the LA Girl Matte um, Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. And this is like a red gloss. It's in, what's the number, the color? Is there? Okay, it's Frisky. And it's like a, it's a red, but it has an, an undertone of like a pink. So it's not too like red red. It's like a slutty pinky red. <coughs> that was that and then now um what else did I get okay so then I went to Walmart hit up the good old Wally world and I wanted to try the elf um, primers because I've always tried the I've always used the Smashbox and the cover effects and the Becca primer but I wanted to try the elf primer because they said that the elf primer the poreless one is the same kind of formula as a Smashbox one so I said let me try it so I picked up the this one is the why am I holding everything this one is the elf um, poreless face primer and it's a clear um, clear product and then this one is the illuminating face primer and it's a radiant glow so I just told Erica that I got these and she's told me that she tried this one and I think she tried both of them but she tried this one and she didn't like it because it she said it looked like she dipped her face in glitter and that's probably what the illuminating part is so I will try it and see how I like it and then I did use this one today for this makeup look and it is the same kind of consistency as the Smashbox one so we'll see how it lasts throughout the day um, but yeah I got this at Walmart and then I wanted to start you know like making my brows like fleeky because I really don't do my brows that much because I do have like a nice hair of brows so I don't really fill it in all the time and all that stuff do all the fancy stuff but I said you know let me get into it because it does really pull together like your whole makeup look it makes a difference so I've been trying to do the concealer thing with a concealer like here like to like outline it and I have like liquid concealer and I don't like it because I'm not good at it and it just gets everywhere so I said maybe if I had like a stick and it was dry I can just draw my lines to outline my eyebrows so I was looking for a concealer stick so I got the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer and I got the Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick in Deep so this one with the Hard Candy it has two ends this is dark for contour and this is for highlighting and this one is the L'Oreal True Match is just one side. So today I used L'Oreal True Match. Because it was a little darker than this one. Because I think this one was a little bit too light. So I did my eyebrows today guys. So let's clap for me. I did my eyebrows and I used the stick thing. And it was perfect. Like 
my like I'm not good at it so it was I was able to just you know do what they do with the eyebrows and it worked for me so I will be using this when doing my eyebrows I really like it and this is the color um is that a is that the color W6 Mayan no no, no. W678 oh medium deep <laughs> I was right there um, medium deep W678 that's the color I got and then I think I already said the one I got in this one this was deep too next my favorite concealer is the Maybelline um, fit me concealers because the consistency is just perfect it's not too thick not too thin nice coverage so I've been using cafe and I said it's a little too close to my skin tone to give me like a nice highlight like right under the eyes so I went a color lighter and I got it in medium 25 and that's what I use today and I like it it's much lighter than my skin tone so it really gives you like the nice highlighted look so I love 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 this concealer next is eyeliners I always get Maybelline eyeliner the stick one that's like this shape but I said let me try the master Kajal because I saw the commercial for this so it's a bullet shaped concealer it's black has a lot of product right there on the tip um, like the whole tip there so I use it today for like my eyeliner before I put my lashes on and I love it I love the consistency I love um, the consistency of it like a coal like a coal liner yeah so it's good it says coal cream coal yeah so it's good <laughs> it's in black and then I got the car candy stroke of gorgeous felt tip eyeliner because I like using pencil liners or coal liners under my eyes and I like using the felt tip on top like the top liner so this is a felt tip and felt tip is my favorite kind of eyeliner I don't like liquid eyeliners with a brush because it just doesn't work for me so felt tip is my favorite and I think that's it for the makeup and then the last product I have is so when we we're in Nigeria um, Inky had this new face lotion that she was trying and it was the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream with hyaluronic acid so she said try this lotion it's so good so i said okay so when i was in nigeria the whole time i tried it i wore it every day and i was like this lotion is so good like it's moisturizes my face makes my face so soft and perfect for like makeup application for the day and um i haven't changed face lotions in years so this was new for me and i loved it so when i got back from the u.s i bought it my own and I put it on by itself and it wasn't moisturizing enough for me and I realized it was because in Nigeria it's warmer and hotter so I don't need as much moisturizing as if as I do like right now when it's like one well, it's kind of springish now but when I came back from Nigeria it was January and it was still winter so in the winter time it wasn't good enough for me so I had to mix this with my regular face lotion and it was perfect I still wanted to get the hyaluronic acid in it to help with like um, making your skin tone even and soft um, so I finished it and then I went to get a new bottle and I saw that they have a extra dry skin formula so I was like if I get the extra dry skin formula then I won't need to mix it with my other lotion so I used this I've been using it for the past two days now and perfect it works I need the extra dry for the winter cold times now when it comes to summertime I'll see if the if I just need to get the regular one and not the extra dry one but we'll see how it is if my face gets too greasy in the summer with this then I'll buy the regular one also this costs a pretty penny for me for you it might be cheap but for me it's expensive for a face lotion I usually always buy my face lotions from Walmart no more than six dollars for a f no no more than six dollars for face lotion then I kind of upgraded to the is it Neutrogena one that I always used and it was like ten dollars I was like yeah pushing it but it's still okay then when I changed to this this is like eighteen dollars for this face lotion I was like when I finished the first bottle I went to buy the, the second one two days ago I was like what I bought this lotion for seventeen dollars I was like no that's how much it costs so like yeah that's how much it costs like $18 I was like what but 
it's a good lotion I love it so I'll keep using it and see if you know it's if it's worth the money for me to keep using it like that like you know but the, the this bottle lasted me three months so eh, I guess it evens out though but it's it, it's the three months last but it's $17 so it's not too bad but just like I've never bought face lotion for $17 before so it was a little new for me but I love this lotion it's so good and I'm going to do an updated skin care routine because my skincare routine has changed since my last couple of videos on skincare routines so I will do an updated one if you do want to see an updated one let me know so maybe I'll just bump it up in priority to film and not put it off for a little bit later so anyways I think that's all that I have for my haul hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye also all the products that I mentioned will be down below and for the outfits the clothes that I showed in the bag if I can't find the exact one I will put a similar one on there if you do want to like get those pieces and add it to your wardrobe anyways I'll see you guys in my next video bye